So you've gone and got yourself a brand new Canon PIXMA TR4560 printer. Good choice. Let's get it set up for you. Lay the box on its side and take care to cut through the packaging tape with a suitable knife or a pair of scissors. Open the box and lift out the smaller cardboard box which contains the black and colour fine cartridges and various cables for your printer. Then carefully slide out the printer with the polystyrene pieces attached. Remove the polystyrene packaging wraps, then take the printer out of the bag. As you can see, we've done a good job in getting the printer to you in tip-top condition. Before you do anything else, locate the bag with your installation disc, manual and these bits of paper. This will ensure they don't get accidentally discarded. You can now remove and dispose of all the protective materials, including these orange tabs, responsibly. Let's get you orientated. The operation panel will allow you to access the printer's settings and operate your printer to its full capabilities. Start by opening the front cover. On the base, you'll see the paper output tray which slides in and out and is where you'll load blank paper with these handy paper guides. Immediately above the paper tray is the paper support tray which neatly concentinas out to catch your prints. This compartment with the Canon logo is where you can access, load and replace the ink cartridges. At the top of the printer, lift the document cover lid and you will see the flatbed glass where your printer copies and scans. This paper input tray allows you to load the documents you want to scan and copy. Make sure you load them face up. Once finished, they will land here in this document catcher. This is the automatic document feeder and holds up to 20 sheets to tackle multiple jobs at once. Your printer also has fax capability. At the back, you'll find a plug-in for your dedicated fax or phone line. Now that you have a good feel for your printer, let's get started on setting it up. Locate the power socket at the back of your printer and plug in the cable like this. Make sure the wall outlet switch is off before plugging the other end into the wall. If you're going to be connecting the printer with a USB cable, you don't need to worry about plugging it in just yet. You'll be prompted to do this when you install the software. If you're going to make use of the printer's fax function, plug in the telephone cable from your wall socket here. Now go ahead and switch on the power at the wall and turn on the printer like this. You will now be led through some user preferences and selections on the operation panel. Let's install the ink cartridges. First, open the front cover. Remove the fine cartridge from its packaging, including any of this protective orange tape. Try not to touch the ink on the protective tape as it could stain your hands or surrounding objects. Start with the colour fine cartridge. This goes on the left hand side corresponding to this helpful label. Tilt the fine cartridge upward and at an angle and insert into the fine cartridge holder. Insert all the way and press it upward until it clicks into place. The printer will beep to alert you it's installed. Repeat this with a black cartridge on the right hand side. Double check that the cartridges are level and straight. When it does come time for you to replace your ink cartridges, you simply reverse this process by pushing down on the cartridge to release it. Now that you know how to load and unload the ink, close the paper output cover and the printer will return the cartridges to their correct location. Let's put some paper in the printer. Start by pulling out the lower cassette until it stops. Slide apart the paper guides and move the blue guide across to the far right edge. Now simply load the plain letter or A4 size paper with the print side faced down. There's an icon here to remind you which way to load it. Push the paper all the way into the cassette. Now push the cassette back in. The arrow on the front cover should align with the front edge of the printer. Pull out the paper output support from the output tray and flip over the final extension flap. Now your screen should read, prepare for connection. That brings us to the end of the initial setup phase. You can now go ahead and connect your computers, smartphones and tablets.